welcome to another edition of Talk Time Soccer on Speaks TV channel 15.2. Uh, my name is Excel, and today I'll, I'll be on the show with Francis and Ibrahim. So last week uh, we talked about uh, the, uh, the 2014 edition of the World Cup that was hosted by Brazil. We talked about the, Af the team that the countries that represented Africa at the World Cup. We talked about the team, uh, Germany, how Germany won the World Cup. We talked about the players that were discovered at the World Cup, the likes of Hammers, and then all the, how the uh, best play people that you call the best players in the world performed, the Lionel Messi, the Suarez, the Ronaldos, and the rest of them. So, And also we looked at uh, the best goals of the tournament. So thank you, those of you that uh, responded uh, to our uh, question that gave us feedback on what the, the best goals were. So uh, we appreciate your feedback. Keep watching Talk Time Soccer on Speaks TV. Uh, we'll take a break right now, and when we come back, I will talk about what has been going on in the Premier League. Welcome back. So this week, uh, we'll be looking into what has been going on in the Premiership. So in the Premier League last year was, uh, the current independent champions, uh, okay, last year, last, during the last season, Manchester City won the trophy. And looking at what has been going on in the transfer season, play, teams that have added new players, Chelsea have done a good job of uh, adding new players, Arsenal have uh, done the same. Mind you, has a new coach. So, what, what, what do you think is going to happen this year? Who, who do you think will be the favorite to win the Premiership? Oh, man, Excel, I can tell you that this year's Premier League will be exciting. A lot of, a lot of new players coming in the, into the league. A lot of, you know, players going out. And I know that this year's is going to be, it's going to be a bomb winning to explode. So, I'm just excited and ready for it to go. Ben, what do you think about this year's Premier League? I think it's going to be exciting as well. I definitely think we're not going to see what we're expecting to see. We're expecting to see some of the big teams like Arsenal, Chelsea on top of the league. But I think we might be um, surprised by who, who comes on top. So. I think that's, that's going to be a tough call to make uh, because look at the top, top teams. Chelsea, they are getting Diego Costa and Sec uh, Fabregas and Luis Felipe. I mean, talk about a team that came third last year and uh, adding these two, three, two, these three new players. Uh, overall, I think a lot of people probably right now see them as the favorite uh, to win uh, the league. So and then Arsenal too, they, they added uh, they they have a new striker. Uh, 30 million transfer, uh, Alexi Sanchez from Barcelona. So that's 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 a that's a, a big addition to to you know how they struggled last year uh, with uh, uh, scoring. They play so well, but just getting that uh, uh, finishing touch. So I think the, the top teams are set up to win again. I don't really see someone coming from outside the ranks to win, to win the championship. Francis, who do you think is going to win? Uh, you know, as you can tell, last season in the Premiership was, was a fight between Liverpool and uh, Man City. You know, it was head-to-head. -head. And uh, I believe uh, we can we can count out Liverpool, too. I think Liverpool is going to come out strong. They signed a few players from Southampton, which trying to strengthen their, their core four strikers. And with those players, I believe Liverpool can can come out, uh, you know, on top. Brian, what do you what do you see? What do you see? I definitely see Man City giving a fight again because they have a complete team. Nothing's changed. They only added players which can help produce the success that they've been having for the past few years. And Manchester United as well. We're gonna re they're trying to rebuild with a new coach, and it's just the the history within the club that's gonna help them produce this upcoming season. So definitely, I see them putting up a fight. Okay, so which which team outside the four teams that finished in the top four uh, last season? Uh, that is Man City, uh, Liverpool, Chelsea, and Arsenal. Which other two teams do you expect to compete for these uh, top four positions this this year? 
I think Manchester United, Tottenham, and I'm not sure, but I feel like there might be another team in the Premier League because, as we all know, the Premier League is surprising. You never know who's going to come up on top. A lot of teams pull up upsets during the season, so definitely I think there's going to be a team around that's going to pull an upset this season. What about you, Francis? What do you think on... I believe uh, beside the top four teams, um, uh, Everton, if they can strengthen up their uh, strikers, I believe that they, they can come up, you know, even surpassing uh, the likes of Arsenal and, you know, some of the big four that we used to know and that are always there. So I believe Everton can do something really, really, uh, you know, huge if they can just strengthen a few of their strikers. And you can't also forget about Tottenham, which... You know, they have the likes of Adebayo and with another striker like Sodaldo can really improve them coming up, you know, to the top four. So we can never come, you know, those teams out. What do you think? Uh, yeah, those, those are really two good choices. Everton and uh, Tottenham. I think these are the two clubs definitely I would expect to uh, challenge the, the top four teams. Uh, Manchester United, you could probably add there, but um, right now we... I can't really tell what Manchester United is going to offer until I really see them in the field. I, 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 but like you said, maybe their history could see them through. So um, we will take a quick break. Uh, when we return, uh, we will talk about some other big transfers that have happened uh, in the La Liga and how that is going to affect uh, uh, that league. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, so before the break, we are talking about the uh, pre English Premiership. So how the teams performed last year, uh, which team we expect to uh, carry the crown uh, this year. So next, we will look at the La Liga. So the La Liga was a, a wide, ride, wide ride right to the last game of the season last year with uh, Atletico Madrid going to Camp Nou to uh, get a draw with uh, Barcelona to be able to uh, win, win the league. So, uh, which other team uh, impressed you in the La Liga last year? Uh, apart from Atletico, I wasn't really impressed because Barcelona and Madrid still managed to be on top of the league. But I'm definitely looking forward for another team to push forward like Atletico did to see, I mean, to make the La Liga more interesting. What about you, Francis? Um, just like we all know, it was is the top, you know, the big two every time going at it. So, for for Atletico to come through and shake the, you know, the the table like that, it was pretty good uh, for the La Liga. And I think some of the, you know, other teams can take from the from what Atletico did and you know try to you know shake the the league again. But beside those two, I think. You know, no, none of the teams that we all expect can, you know, fight. Because we, we always used to know that it's either Madrid or Barcelona taking it. You know? Yeah, yeah, they definitely. Uh, Atletico Madrid did, did something magical last year. Uh, they played like a machine. Uh, everyone really contributed. And uh, uh, you, you, Barcelona, which happened to be a really good team, never really defeated them once throughout last season, both in Champions League, uh, in the La Liga, and every game they made, they never defeated them. So that really showed uh, the toughness and how they were built last year. But they've sold a lot of their players this year. So Diego Costa have gone to Chelsea, and they sold a lot of their players. So I, I doubt if they're going to be able to repeat. And then Real Madrid got better. Barcelona got better. They got Suarez. Now you have Suarez, you have Messi, you have Iniesta and Co. in Barcelona, and you have Neymar. And then in Real Madrid, you still have Ronaldo, you have Tony Cross that just joined, and you have uh, James Rodriguez, and you still have Gary Bell. So, what do you think is going to happen this year? Real Madrid or Barcelona? Uh, I think I'll have to say Real oh, Madrid, but I definitely won't count Barcelona out, out of the picture because of their gameplay. They have a way of controlling the game, but the way Madrid plays with the counterattack, the speed... With the bell on one side, Ronaldo on the other side, you have Benzema finish. You have great midfielders that can support them. But it's just a great game to watch. Definitely one of the best games of the season. 
just a classic or just one of the best things to look forward to. What about you, Francis? Uh, I think this year's La Liga will be a bone waiting to explode because Real Madrid went and signed almost everybody they can imagine of. They added Tony Cruz in the midfield. They added um, James Rodriguez. And then on the wings, you have Bale and Ronaldo. Those two speeds. But hey, look at Barcelona. They went and signed Suarez. So with those Suarez, Neymar, and um, Messi, that would be a good like, uh, a little classical to look forward to. And Atletico Madrid, I don't know what happened, but they just let Chelsea come and raid their camp and but all their top players. So we'll see what Atletico can do this season, but definitely can't count them out because they, they produce players out of nowhere. So I think La Liga will be excited this season. Okay. okay. That, that's great. So uh, great insight on the La Liga. Definitely games uh, that everyone will look forward to uh, watching. Definitely uh, will Look forward to watching Real Madrid against Barcelona this year. That will be a fire, firepower. I hope to see more than four goals in that game. So we'll take a quick break. And when we'll return, uh, we'll look at other stories that uh, are in soccer. Welcome back. So uh, next we'll be discussing the hot topics uh, in soccer. Uh, so... Definitely one of them will have to be the transfers uh, into the MLS, uh, the big transfers that happened into the MLS uh, over the past week. So one is Frank Lampard uh, leaving Chelsea uh, to begin a new life uh, in, in New York with the New York Red Bulls, so joining uh, Henry there. And also David Villa uh, leaving Atletico uh, to join uh, uh, the same team, New York Red Bulls. So two big stars joining the MLS. What do you think? Uh, I just think the MLS is just getting exciting and exciting. So I just feel like these additions to the MLS will make the MLS again popular and raise you know US soccer to the next level. And uh, it's just gonna be exciting to watch those players bring the quality to the to the game of MLS and to you know see how the Americans cope and adapt from with them. So, man, what do you think about? It? Yeah, I definitely think it's helping the league develop. Because it's still a developing league, but it's it's exciting to see old legends as I could say as Frank Lampard from Chelsea playing the MLS along with Henry and David Villa because it's helping it's training the the New York Red Bulls players to play with legends. They could teach them one or few things and which could hopefully pass on into the league and help this league develop. So definitely it'll be exciting to watch. Um so yeah, that's 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 definitely true. Um, you, you you learn a lot from experience, and these are uh, uh, championship uh, caliber guys, guys that have won championships. So uh, when you have those kind of guys in your locker room or in the field, they can uh, bring their experience. And the lesser experienced uh, players you have in your team uh, will always uh, learn from them. So definitely, uh, definitely good for the MLS, good for the New York Red Bulls. So uh, we all know what. Uh, uh, David Beckham um, and Donovan. Donovan Donovan has been able to do and uh, with the LA Galaxy. So uh, let's look forward to the, what these new stars can do for the New York Red Bulls. So uh, next, I uh, would we'll like to talk about D.D. Droba joining Chelsea, returning to Chelsea. So last year he was Samuel Leto joining Chelsea. So now they have the Chelsea legend D.D. Droba returning. So. What do you think? Do you think he can do any magic for Chelsea? Yeah, I definitely think he can perform for Chelsea because the the presence of him being on the field or him being with the club is definitely a change for Chelsea because he brings the experience. I'm sure the other forwards will look up to him and he could tell them a few things within the club or a few um, tips on how to perform for the club. And it's just definitely a great, great addition. What about you, Francis? Uh, I think uh, Drogba coming back to the club where, you know, he won everything and with the manager that brought him there is going to be something beautiful. He's, he can still change the game. He can still play at the top level, which we all know. And um, 
Drogba coming back is just an exciting thing for Chelsea. So I think it would be a good thing for, you know, for Chelsea and for the league to see him back and hopefully he brings some trophies. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. I agree with you. I definitely agree with you. So uh, definitely he has uh, energized the fan base for Chelsea. And uh, we'll, we'll, only time will tell what he will bring to the team. Uh, so, viewers, what do you think? What do you think about Didi Drogba coming back to Chelsea? Do you think it's a good move by the manager? Do you think he will perform well? We would like to get your feedbacks. Okay, we'll take a quick break. Okay, so, it's been a, a great talk show. We've talked about the Premier League, uh, the teams that performed, uh, how the teams performed last year. Uh, the teams that will expect to do well this year. Uh, we looked at all the transfers that has happened, uh, both in the Premiership, the La Liga, and the MLS. Uh, we also talked about the hot topics. So, uh, what, what final words do you have for our viewers, Francis? Um, I just think uh, the La Liga will be a great, a great season this year. So, it will be the Premier League. So, just keep watching and. Uh, more exciting things to come. Ben, what do you think? Yeah, I definitely think the viewers should stay tuned for the upcoming season for from the Premier League, seeing Lampard and Villa in New York, and definitely the Classico be a great season. Definitely, definitely. I can't wait for the season to start. So uh, less than three weeks away, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look, look forward to the season to start. Uh, I hope Arsenal goes uh, further than for this year. Hopefully, they will go ahead and uh, win the crown. I mean, uh, Arsenal is still the team for me. And uh, I, I hope to see them uh, go further, further than they were last year. And then uh, I wish uh, our viewers, whichever club that you are supporting, I wish, I wish the best for your teams. So I know that's what you also wish for your team. So uh, in closing, I would um, like to ask uh, you, our viewers to... Give us your feedback on who you think is going to win the English Premiership this coming season. Who do you think will be in the top four? Do you think any? Uh, do you think there will be any change in the top four that we had from last year? We have Man City, Chelsea, uh, Liverpool, and Arsenal. So, do you think any of these teams will make it in the top four? Let us know. Also, who do you think is going to win the El Clasico this year? Barcelona against Real Madrid. That's going to be a good game to watch. Who do you think is going to win? We would like your feedback on those. And also, who do you think is going to win uh, the La Liga this year? Atletico Madrid came from nowhere and won it last year. Do you expect Atletico Madrid to repeat? Or do you think it's going to be Real Madrid or Chelsea? Give us your feedback. We would will, we will like to uh, hear from you. And until next week, keep watching Speaks TV channel 15.2.